All right, welcome back. We today are going to build this awesome building right here. For those who are unaware, maybe you're new to the game, maybe you're not new to the game, but you just didn't know, there is no collision on buildings. So you can plop all kinds of buildings inside of other buildings and make new buildings with your buildings. This happens to be six separate buildings created into one space. I haven't uh, done anything with this back depth wise in your building. It gives you good architecture, if you will. Lots of different angles, different things you can do with it. I've only decorated just this front. We're going to go into a little bit of that. It goes into my lines. I have made a new one. So it's these guys here where I've got the, all the lines. I'm going to show you how they work today in this video as well. I do have the RGB kind of working. You can see there's no transparent image here in this video because I can't get it to work. In DaVinci Resolve, you got to export it as uh, QuickTime, and QuickTime doesn't work on these. So uh, we'll figure that out at some point. But today we're going to check out this bad boy. So you want to make sure you have snapping on. So I currently have snapping on. We're going to find a nice empty little spot. How about right over here? This works for me. And first thing we're going to do, we're going to come up here to buildings. We need central BD. This is one of them we need. We're going to hold alt. We're going to click it and then we're going to make another one. So we're going to go ahead and bring these all the way up. And then we are going to turn these. Now this is a little tip for those who are unaware on this part here. So when you get a hover and you get these little tiny dots, not the arrows, the little tiny dots, that's how you rotate your buildings. You're going to hold left mouse and you're just going to drag straight to the right or you're going to drag straight to the left. Don't try to go in some weird circle thing and you get frustrated. I used to do that. Just go in one direction and that's all you need to do and it will rotate perfectly exactly like you want it to. So I need these facing each other pretty much exactly like that. So now we need to find a second here in central BD. There it is. So hold alt again, click one of them, click a second one. So now we're going to raise this thing all the way up. So one of them is exactly what we need. We can just go ahead and plop, we're done. This one, however, we need to rotate. So we're going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to go straight to the left. We're going to grab it over here and snap her in. You can already see the wonderful depth that you get in this building. It's, it's already fantastic. It's just lots of places to put billboards. Just very, very cool. So now we're going to go to New Eden. We're going to get a couple buildings here. And there it is right there. Hold Alt. Click, click. The reason I'm holding Alt is it stays on the exact same building each time. I don't have to change. So one of these is already exactly like one. Let's just move it in place. There we go. But the other one, we got to turn 90 degrees. And if I left it like this, that's still kind of cool, but it looks odd that the building isn't connected. If that makes any sense. That's why I went with this. Besides, it just looks cool. And it looks more appropriate for how building architecture would be. You would have things connected to it. You know, you got your central spire and your, your buttress section buildings there. So, so far so good. We've got this built. Now we're going to place some of these guys in here. These are done with the medium portrait. So we're going to come up here. We're going to grab our little tool here and we're going to grab medium portrait. So on these, it's a little difficult to explain this. So if I place it like this and I come down here, you see how I can line up this left side, but I can also line up this. When I'm doing it in this cavity, I don't have that option. Now, a way you can get around this, if you just, you're just like, oh man, I gotta have it perfect. My OCD is gonna kill me if I don't. Move this building out, place them on there, move the building back. So if you just, your OCD will not allow you to, to do it that way. This is how you're going to do it. The problem is I don't know exactly where this falls in the line in the center of this. So I'm just going to move this back and oh yeah, see it's right off the, it's a weird edge. So I'm going to use it this way and I'm just going to hope that I get this right. What we're going to do is we're going to come to the top of the lights and then we're going to center this. So you got a live edge here and you got a live edge right there. 
So I kind of want it right between both of those, just to the top. Right there. Now let's get an image that I can actually, yep, I can see the bottom of that one, that works fine. Once again, center it between the two sides. And I just need it to touch. I don't want it to go crazy, just right there, boom. Find it, there we go. And this last one's a little twitchy, so the reason I went just where I did is it gives you just enough. So you see how there's two, actually two, um, I don't know if you can tell this, but there's a slant right there before it gets this outer hall. So we're actually going to occlude the first slant. And we're going to put it right there. So now we have our three. So in this, you can put whatever you For example, I could do, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but you'll see when it's done. I could put a color that is as close as I've found so far to this color up here. If I just wanted to just like, oh, hello, we got color. But I think that's a little too much. I think it's a little too bright for my taste. So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm gonna do it just like we did in that over there. I'll get over here to my split screen. And we're gonna do some uh, figurines, make them seem like they're on that pedestal of light because that makes sense with what those figurines are. And we're gonna come over, we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna come to this side. And you notice how it has this weird thing. That's also why I go up to the top because it's it gives me just a little bit, uh, there. So it's a little off because it angled right there. You get some weird things when you're merging buildings together. So we'll just take it in stride. Center and plop. So we'll do the same thing over here on this side. And we'll add this guy. And let's give him a pedestal to stand on. All right. So now we've got some pretty cool, interesting looking stuff to it. So maybe we're going to pop a logo. I'm going to stick a... Uh... Now watch when I do this. It's pretty cool. Is it going to spawn it? Oh, I didn't spawn it right away. Well, uh, oh, there it is. Look, there's a police car coming off of it. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so now we're going to move to something a little different. So if you want to do the uh, ABC, this is the color here that does it. And what you need to do with this, and I'll show you. So let's say you want to do that Raytheon word. So you're going to click on that. Now on this second one, you're going to come right up to the C about like that and then if I right click this uh, R A Y T right click this H E O N and you can see that they're spaced pretty well I, I would say that's that's right so good there uh, then you've got other colors uh, this one's more of a red uh, this one's yellow I think this one is the color that you see most of the time now I want to go to a large, actually, I want to go to one other thing. This you may not have unlocked yet because this is new. But what I did with this is I brought this right up to the edge of this as if the light stopped on it. I think that looks very good. Very cool. But we're not quite done yet. Now I'm going to the large. You're going to think I'm crazy when I start doing this, but but watch and you'll understand how this works. So here's the top right here, but I don't want to go quite, quite to the top. I think that's a little extreme. And this edge isn't perfectly vertical. So I'm going to come in from the edge just a touch, like maybe that. Now, something weird I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this. We're going to find a very specific add. This. So look here where it says this CHD maybe, CHO. You're going to go above the H and below the C. Now if you look on the right hand side, you'll notice that coincides with this 
notch that he has in the uh, billboard. And we're doing that for a reason. So we'll come right there. Blam. We get the same one. There we go. Right above the H. There you go. Do it one more time. The other side's easier, and I'll show you why. Just a moment. There we go. And we're talking right there. Now, it, it is weird that I eclipsed them. I would normally never do that, but there's a reason for that. When I put in my brand new, this is the newest color that I have done. I don't actually have this on Discord and my Patreon and all that and Reddit. I figured out by doing this, that notch no longer affects it and I have a solid line. So none of the, you see how, the, how there's a notch in all these? There's a notch, because there's a notch in the top corner of the billboard. So by eclipsing it just a, that little bit, you're able to get a solid line all the way down. This works with a cross also. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, but I'm gonna show you how to do this side a little different. So we're gonna come in just a little bit, down just a little bit, right there. So you just need it to have a color like that one where you can see it. And look on the right hand side, see how it's coming up, up, and boom, it covers over it. That's all you need to do. I find that color way too bright. Now before I change all these, don't you notice something? You notice how it's covering everything right now? You're like, I can't see anything. But this one, you can see it just fine. That's because of how I've created these. The the square, this red square you see here, still contains those uh, alternating gray colored squares that is the transparent PNG. I did not crop to content, so I didn't crop to this line. I left this whole square as the savable image. For some reason, that tricks the billboard into thinking there's literally nothing there and it turns the billboard off. I'll, sh I'll show you an example right here. So right there I have this billboard. Yes, it sticks over. You can clearly see it sticking over. If I hit I on this and I change it to, say, another picture, you can see, hey, look, it's clearly sticking over. If I change it to one of my lines, there's nothing there. It's there, but there's nothing there. And that's how I figured out this. Floating lines. With those lines and with the effect that I figured out, you can now actually have external floating lines. So it's it's fantastic. It's a great find that gives us so much more to do with this that it's just fantastic. So let's get our line set up here. Slowly reveal the uh, portion behind it. And there you go. How cool is that? So now you have, minus all the decorations, now you have a way to build a really cool, still fairly small footprint, really cool building that gives you depth. And that's one thing that we're missing uh, in this. If you look at a lot of these buildings, they tend to just be squares or rectangles. Yeah, there's like cutouts and things like that and these little light bars and stuff, but they're not, they're, they're fairly two dimensional. So doing something like this gives us a really nice three, third dimension we can inset. Now I also tried to do a billboard on the inside here. Here's the problem, and I don't know if you can see this when you look at it. These buildings go outward as they go up. They're taller at the top than they are at the bottom, so they're not square. They're reasonably square on this outside and reasonable, reasonably is a relative term there. So there you are. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.